what's up guys welcome back to another big video so today i am discussing how i lost 20 pounds in just two short weeks right so guys later on in the video i will show you guys some things that i have been doing to like actually lose the weight i'll show you my meal and my workout so for starters the first week guys i pulled off i think it was 12 pounds the first week guys and within the first two days i had already lost eight or nine pounds i can't remember how many but i actually posted the video of the first day and the second day how much i lost guys this was an extreme amount of weight to lose that quickly so what did i do everybody wants to know the first week i started taking smooth move and i actually went back on the keto diet doing low carb um, I couldn't actually get low enough in my carbs, but I was surprised that I was still losing weight just by doing low carb. So, low carb or what they would call lazy keto the first week. So, I was eating a couple of meals, um, like several meals the first week. The first three or four days, I was eating like three meals a day. And then, as I got closer to, I was eating three meals a day, all ketos type meals and I was drinking smooth move one cup after dinner at night before I went to bed and it also made it made made it where it was so easy to stimulate a bowel movement so after the first couple of days during the first week I noticed my weight started to kind of you know slack off a little bit so I decided that I would start the second week um by doing one meal a day keto version so the first day of my second week i noticed that i wasn't losing the weight that i really wanted to lose so i was doing keto one meal a day taking this move move two days out of the week so when the second week came i noticed that i still wasn't pulling the weight that i wanted like i did in the first week and i was like i know i can pull more weight than this so what i decided to do was to cut back restrict my calories down to 1500 and i noticed the 1500 i still wasn't pulling off what i wanted so i was like let me do the 1200 calorie one meal a day and the no longer do the smooth move because the smooth move i was not able to go anywhere i had to stay around the house because when it hits you it hits you so the second week i can't remember how much i pulled off but when i stepped on the scale monday morning i was 20 pounds down so just being in a calorie deficit played a big role and also low carb because i actually went under 20 net grams 20 net carbs so i think the second week i focused on 20 and below and the third day of the second week i actually hit 15 carbs only for the remainder of the second week and i didn't go over 1200 calories i was eating um a meat protein and vegetable and i was eating enough fat so i wouldn't feel lightheaded so by the end of the second week, I actually had to go to work and I had to do double shifts that weekend. And I was so afraid that I was going to pass out because I, I know that when I'm at home, I'm good because when I start feeling not my best per se, or when I get really hungry, I can just sleep it off. But I realized I'm going to be at work, I'm going to be around temptation. And guys, when I got to work the first day, I was good. The second day, cravings like crazy, out of this world cravings. And being around candy and so much food and other people eating, it really triggered the best of me, like, or the worst, I should say. It made me think that I should just end this diet because I didn't, the second day, I did not pack my meals. I didn't prepare. I was, I don't know what I was thinking. And I actually had to go to fast food. So I knew that. I could go to McDonald's, take the bun off of my um, sandwich. But the bun smelled so good, guys, that one night I was like, I should just end it right now 
eat this bun, this hamburger, cheeseburger, and be done with it. Start over again next week. Something inside of me, I had to pull strength that I did not know I had because I was so tempted to mess up. And then I hadn't eaten enough protein and that made it really, really tough. So I ended up making it through because I got a, um, what did I get? I got a chicken sandwich from Wendy's and I got a cheeseburger from Burger King, I think. And I took the buns off. So I didn't really hit my calorie goal, but I also ate some pork rinds and that kind of helped me a little bit and some jello and sugar-free jello and i was good so um that was how my weekend went at the end of the two weeks get going to work and being able to um still stay in the diet but i noticed i didn't drink a lot of water and on days that i drank like a ton ton of water um i didn't see a big huge weight loss so i may not need as much water as i think i do i thought that maybe i could get into drinking a gallon a day no i don't even think that's safe for everybody it depends on your fluid retention how much potassium you're getting in i took a potassium pill also guys oh i feel horrible um i don't recommend taking a potassium pill i recommend getting your potassium from your foods that's the safest version because you can actually pull a little too much salt um, from your body. So be careful. The supplements that I took, guys, was magnesium, um, potassium from foods like spinach and green vegetables. Um, I also took a multivitamin. I took zinc and vitamin D3. And I also was taking electrolyte powders, guys. So Everything that I took, guys, really played a role in me feeling good. Now, I can say I never got um, really weak, but whenever I got like really hungry the first week and this into the second week, I was on sugar-free popsicles and sugar-free jello. I would eat like whenever I got like really hungry and couldn't make it, I would get a um, sugar-free popsicle and a jello and it would instantly take my cravings away so guys i'm going to show you what i've been doing so far in the next few clips and i'll see you in another video bye all right guys so i've been walking 15 minutes in these things and they're tight i had to adjust them several times because i felt like they were cutting the circulation off so once you adjust them, they're good. I still have them on, as you can see. Yeah. They will add to your workout. Extra, I promise you. Like, if you want to be pushed a little bit more, get your panties. Like. Guys, I am back from my little walk, my little workout. If you want a good workout, if you have a sports store near you, like a Dunham Sports or something like that, these weights, they have like bean bags. They're like bean bags, I guess. They are heavy. When I say heavy, they are heavy. But I think they're five pounds each, so 10 pounds, guys. Like, you can lift these. So, can you imagine a 30, almost 40 minute workout with these? I did that today. I was so surprised at myself because normally, you know, once you start walking, your body gets used to it. So, it's like, okay, I can walk 30 minutes in no time. But, honey, the first five minutes. If you can make it to the first 15 minutes in these, you're good. But you're gonna have to take one foot at a time because these are heavy. And this is only 10 pounds. So can you imagine if you were like 15 or 20 pounds, if they weighed that much? But if you want a good workout and you don't like going to the gym and you don't like running, you can't run, you got bad knees, this is... All right, guys, so I just have some Philly cheesesteak 
and onions and green peppers with cheese and I season it with um, some steak seasoning and I have about a cup of broccoli with some soy sauce for seasoning and some rubble ice cream about a half a cup and just three strawberries so and I'm sipping on my tea again tonight so um, I took a break from it but um, I'm gonna start it back I also had green tea today so I am about to enjoy this and I'll talk to you guys later.